Everybody sit down. And hey, yeah, you, you guys ever wrestle with your woman? I wrestle with my girl all the time, but you got to let her win. You know, grab her, you know, let her put you in a hole like she got you down. Now don't grab her and put her in the full nail. Ah, right, shut up! I'll break your neck, shut up! You hurt me, shut up! You know, brothers do that in it, I'll break your neck, say something. Walk around, they tough. Tell you the truth. Let me get my towel again. You know, I sweat all the time. Hey, Miss Laura. Show sure looking pretty over that girl. I sure, thank you. Watch yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm watching you. Huh? I'm watching you. Watch yourself, girl. <laughs> you mess with me, you got to have a Bible and a seatbelt. You hear me? <laughs> I'm talking about the Bibles for Jesus and the seatbelt just to hold on. You know what I'm talking about. Come on now. <laughs> I'm a bad brother for about seven minutes. <laughs> After that, I got to let another brother in. Go on, get in there. Go. <laughs> I can't do nothing with her. Go on. I'm tired, man. <laughs> Woo. And me, I like a, I like a mean woman. I like a mean woman. I like a woman you be in the mall with. She, Bruce, look at that old girl over there. You be steady back. I see her, baby. <laughs> mean women won't let nothing run over you. Y'all brother, I don't like him. I don't like him. You arguing in the car. He my partner. Shut up. I don't like him. <laughs> women take care of you, man. Spend that money, man. I got kids, man. They something else, man. My little girl came to me the other day. Daddy, did you pay the child support last month like you supposed to? I said, yeah, baby, why? Because the last time they locked you up, you stayed a long time. Anybody, anybody here Muslim? I mean, ain't nothing wrong being a Muslim. They're trying to get me to join. I'm a Muslim, you know, and, you know. I come, they say, man, we want you to get, you know, so I'm talking to a Muslim in Atlanta yesterday. I mean, the pork chop sandwich, right? <laughs> so he get mad at me because I mean, the pork chop sandwich. I want a bag of skins. I say, look, you're going to have to work with me. I can't do it. But don't they almost jump in the car with you? Don't they? You pull up at the red light, brah, brah! Hey, hey, man, you can get out of the car. Get out the car. I'm going to get a paper. Well, I just didn't want you to pay it back like you did the other day. And man, I like to eat too, man. Y'all can tell, but I look good with mine. I'm going to do an impression of me leaving an all-you-can-eat restaurant. Yo, go to all-you-can-eat restaurant. This is where I look when I come out. Man, just come out. You all right? You all right? <laughs> you got a car? <laughs> Where you car at? <laughs> man, the police up here are rough, man. Do you hear me? Oh, the police pulled me over last night. But do you all know it's a known fact if a police do pull you over, ask for your driver's license and insurance, go to his car, come back. <laughs> ask you to get out of the car, you're going to jail. <laughs> Did y'all know that? Police pulled me over last night. He said, can I see driver's license and insurance? I said, yeah. He went to his car, he came back. He said, can you get out of the car? I said, I ain't getting out of this car. <laughs> he gonna try to open the door back. I right, click, click up. He said, I towed his car in. I said, I ride in on the back of the record. <laughs> White policemen are different. They're real nice. Hello, how are you? Uh, how are you doing? Fine, thanks. Can you get out the car, please? No. <laughs> but white people are different type of people anyway. They're different. White people can fire you from a job and still be smiling. 
You know that? Oh, white lady told me, I'm sorry I had to let you go. <laughs> if you need a good reference, you have to give me a call. <laughs> I'm walking out no reference. I'm thinking about blowing up the place. But well, see, one thing about black people, they do not start work soon as they get there, do they? A brother walk in, clock in, clock. What y'all brother do last night? I get an attitude, look at him, stay out of my business, bro. I had to catch a bus here, stay out of my business. But one thing about white people, you can tell them, say, hey, I'm going to be on the show this weekend, why don't you come see me? They're like, hey, where are you going to do the show at? We'll come support you, I got friends. We'll come sit in the front row. <laughs> yeah, come sit right in the front row, buy tickets, everything. Tell a brother, hey, man, I'm going to be doing the show this weekend. Oh, okay. <laughs> So my down the street, yeah, I know where it is. <laughs> Look here, can you uh, hook a brother up? <laughs> brother want to hook up, don't it? You ever go in a restaurant with one of your boys and he go crazy because he see his partner? I, hey, I didn't know you worked that here. What's up? What's up? The manager around? Oh, he ain't. <laughs> and you uh, hook a brother up? <laughs> you go to jail. <laughs> But some white people trip, especially in Atlanta. You ever run into them that don't like black people? Oh, you speak to them, hey, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> but when you find them like that, you better leave them alone, you hear me? <laughs> Just get away from them. I was at the muffler shop, white guy gonna let me know he cool with black people. I live in a black neighborhood, brother. <laughs> then he looked at me. <laughs> man, why is you looking at me, man? I thought he was too. I got a baseball team. <laughs> Ten black boys on there. Take them to practice every day. <laughs> man, why is you looking at me, man? <laughs> I like white people. They ain't all bad. I'm going to do this for you. You know, I got in town yesterday. And I rode the bus because I ride the bus in every city that I go in. And let me tell you something. The neighborhood that I came up in, it is rough. You hear me? So I dress like I do in Atlanta. I had on my helmet goggles, <laughs> bulletproof vest, safety shoe, elbow pad, knee pad. You know what I'm talking about? Everybody's staring at me, but it didn't matter. You understand what I'm saying? I'm sitting on the bus listening to my earphone radio, Jane Brown, because Jane make a brother move. I don't care what you are. Bus stop, lady gets on the bus, she look at the bus driver, they get this out of eye contact. I'm like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? She look at the bus driver, she does him like this. <laughs> right here on Sunset Avenue. The bus driver jumped up out of the seat, he does it like this in return. <laughs> I said, what's happening here? You know what I'm saying? She look at the bus driver, she does him like this. The bus driver looked at her, he does it like this. I take off my goggles because I want to see what's happening. You know what I'm saying? She look at the bus driver, she does it like this. The bus driver looked at her, he does it like this. Yeah, she does like this. Get off the bus. By this time, I'm confused as a dog. You know what I'm saying? I walked up to the bus driver, I said, listen. I'm not the type of brother getting a brother beard. <laughs> I say, what that lady asked you? <laughs> he said, well, very simple. All you had to do was pay attention. She had most bus fare five cents. I say, no, ma'am, bus fare is ten cents. She had me wasn't going uptown. I said, no, ma'am, I'm going downtown. She had me wasn't going by the dairy. I say, no, ma'am, I'm going by the ballpark. <laughs> she said, oh, shit, I'm on the wrong bus. <laughs> Thank y'all. BET in the house. Thank you, man. Well, Mr. Hancock, doctor is ready for you now. Who, me? Now? Mm -hmm. Yes, well, I mean, is there nobody else before me? I mean, no, how do you, anybody else want to go in first? Well, there I, isn't anybody else. You're the last one. Oh. Yes, well, this, this is it then. <laughs> Here we go then. <laughs> 
over the top. <laughs> What's he like on the needle, this bloke? Is his steady hand? Is... Now, there's nothing to worry about. Is he in a good mood? You'll be quite all right. Dr. McTaggart is an excellent doctor. McTaggart? He's a Scotsman. Oh, well, that's all right. The marvellous doctors, the Scots. Like their engineers, you know, first rate. It's the porridge, you know. <laughs> Lead on, Macduff. Mr. Hancock. Ah, good morning. It's a bra brick, moonlich, nick. Good morning, mister. It's a bonny wee lassie. You've got there helping the hoots, new, and och, and the high, and the caber, and the who. Would you mind sitting down there, Mr. Hancock? <laughs> Well, I beg your pardon for lapsing into the vernacular, but the young lady did say you were a Scottish gentleman. Yes, well, we're not all Rob Roy's. <laughs> May I have your card, please? By all means, I'm ready when you are, Squire. Good. <laughs> I'll hold out your hand, please. Now, this won't hurt. You'll just feel a slight prick on the end of your finger. Go! Oh! <laughs> By the centre, dear, oh dear. Well, that's that. I'll have my cup of tea and my biscuit now. Oh, nothing to it, is there, really? I can't understand why everybody doesn't do it. Well, I'll bid you good day. Thanks very much. Whenever you want any more, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. Now, where are you going? Have me tea and biscuits. <laughs> I thought you came here to give some of your blood. You've just had it. <laughs> well, this is just a smear. It may be just a smear to you, mate, but it's life and death to some poor wretch. <laughs> no, no, no. I've just taken a small sample to test. A sample? How much do you want, then? Well, a, a pint, of course. A pint? <laughs> Have you gone raving now? <laughs> oh, well, of course. I mean, you must be joking. A pint is a perfectly normal quantity to take. You don't seriously expect me to believe that. I mean, I came in here in all good faith to help me country. I don't mind giving a reasonable amount, but a pint? Well, that's very nearly an armful. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not walking about with an empty arm for anybody. I mean, I thought... <laughs> A joke's a joke, and you've uh, had Mr. Your... Hancock, obviously you don't know very much about the workings of the human body. You won't have an empty arm, or an empty anything. <laughs> blood is circulating all the time. Normal, healthy individual can give a pint of blood without any ill effects whatsoever. You do have eight pints, you know. Now look, chum, everybody do his own trade, I grant you, but if I've got eight pints, obviously I need eight pints, and not seven as I will have by the time you've finished with me. No, I'm sorry, I've been misinformed. I've made a mistake. I'll do something else. I'll be a traffic warden. Oh. <laughs> well, of course, I can't force you to donate your blood, but it's a great shame. You're AB negative. Is that bad? Oh, no, no. You're rhesus positive. Rhesus? <laughs> They're monkeys, aren't they? <laughs> How dare you? What are you implying? I didn't come here to be insulted by a legalised vampire. <laughs> Mr. Hancock, that is your blood group. AB negative. It's one of the rarest groups there is. Really? Yes, it is. Very rare indeed. Oh, well, of course, I mean, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I've always felt instinctively I was somehow different from the rest of the herd, you know. <laughs> Something apart. I never fitted into society. I've never belonged, if you know what I mean. The contact was never there. I was always a bit of an outsider. Well, that explains it. A-B negative. I'm one of nature's aristocrats. Yes, I really think you ought to reconsider your decision. Yes, well, of course, this does throw a different complexion on the matter. Well, I mean, if I am one of the few sources one doesn't like to hog it all, so to speak, <laughs> I'm not unchristian. Very rare, eh? Yes, and I assure you there'll be no ill effects. I mean, you'll make up the deficiency in no time at all. Oh, well, in that case, I'll do it. I mean, we A-B negatives must stick together. A minority group like us, we could be persecuted. Oh, well, thank you very much, <laughs> Mr. Hancock. I'm most grateful. Now, if you'd go over to the bed and lie down, it won't take very long. Oh, Afterwards, you'll rest for half an hour and then you're free to go. Ah. I'll just roll up your sleeves. Right. As a matter of interest, what group are you? Group A. <laughs> <laughs> now, this won't hurt. Relax. Go! Oh! oh! Uh, uh, oh. Well, hello, me dearios. <laughs> well, tonight I shall have great pleasure, but first of all... <laughs> I'd like to sing you a few songs. So, so loosen your...